Hello, hello, hello. I am back with another video, but a different microphone. I'm using my gracious and artistic and creative roommate's microphone that she uses for her YouTube videos because my Blue Yeti microphone my Blue Yeti microphone is currently broken and it might be under warranty, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I can get a new microphone soon. But in the meantime, I did want to keep filming videos so that you guys know that I still plan on being active on this channel. So I thought I try to film a few simple, simple, old school videos with this more lo-fi mic. Starting with today, I need to paint my nails. I have my two SE. SC nail polishes. I really just have always liked this brand. I like their colors, I like the packaging. And I need to repaint my nails. I need to repaint my nails, so I thought that could be something fun to do on video. And relaxing. I find it relaxing to paint my nails. It's probably the third time this week that I've painted my nails. That's also partially because I mess them up so frequently. Also, it's a Friday evening in Brooklyn. The city of New York is coming back to life, so you're probably going to hear some sounds of the city. It's really hard to tell what all this mic picks up. I'm not really sure, um, because I've never used this mic before and there's no place for me to put a microphone or a, a headphone where I could listen. So I'm kind of going in a little bit blind here. is a-okay. I find that these metallic shades dry faster, which is imperative to me. Um, it's imperative to me because I love to paint my nails, but I always like to fiddle with things with my hands. I always forget that my nails are drying. So, so when I have a faster dry nail polish, it's less likely that I will mess up my nail polish while still drying, which is something I tend to do. You also may think that my nails are kind of gross, which is fair. I just re-dyed my hair last night. I tends to get on my cuticles, get under my nails, kind of gets everywhere, so you certainly might be seeing that
but I really like this sort of metallic plum color as well. I think it's quite nice. I'm trying to kind of spice up the way I do my nails, so... I think I'm going to make this full hand, this purple color, and then use that bronzy, gold, pink <laughs> color on my other hand. What do you think so far? So anyways, I haven't been able to post that much, as you might have noticed. I usually like to post every week, but my microphone mishap has made it really hard, and it's just been taking a long time to get that sorted. I don't really have the money to just buy a new laptop. Um, oh man, I wonder if you can hear the ice cream truck coming. If you can, I'm really not going to edit that out, because I love hearing the ice cream truck coming. Um... Let me blow on my nails a little bit. Anyways. I... Notice that I've been gaining a lot of subscribers. Um, a lot of subscribers, at least by my standards. Uh, you know, we all, it's all uh, relative. And to me, who's just happy to have any interaction with the ASMR community, I'm super excited. I was really excited that recently my channel surpassed um, 100 subscribers, and now I'm almost where I might be at 250, which I'm really, really excited about. And I don't want to miss the moment here. Um, you know, since my microphone is out of order, I don't want to miss the moment and stop creating content. And I also like creating content. I've been wanting to, and it kind of sucks that my microphone is I shouldn't harp on that so much. You know, I've been around since the early days of ASMR. Not on this YouTube channel. I really didn't get the guts to do that until quite recently. But, um, as far as watching ASMR, I think, um, at one point I want to do, like, a my ASMR story sort of thing video. Um, but, been watching for a really long time. I'm, I'm 24 now, and I've been watching, wow, yeah, for over, over 10 years now, um, which is pretty crazy when you think about it, but you know, I'm someone who grew up on YouTube, so, um, anyways, I was watching for over 10 years, and in the really early days, you know, the binaural microphones were more of a rarity, and they used to almost um, trigger me too much. I was too sensitive to listen to the binaural microphones, um, because it was unusual. People would, it wasn't what people normally did, so since I wasn't used to it, it you know, the trigger hit harder. Um, Anyways, I'm going to do another coat here. This microphone here isn't too different than the early, old days of YouTube. And, um, I could get triggered back then. Maybe some people like, like that sort of trigger more, you know? Everyone has their preferences and that's why you know I don't think it really matters um, about getting like 
the most subscribers. Oh, there's a little fiber here. Because there's a niche for everything. And it's kind of nicer to be in a niche than try to kind of please everyone. I love how metallic this is. It's not very seasonal, necessarily, as we're here in late spring. It's a little frosty, although, you know, it's got a little pastel in it as well, so. I'm very much someone who likes to buy things like a pick-me-up when I'm sad and stuff even though I don't have the money and at my old job I was next to this um Walgreens that my old job stressed me out so much that you know I did all sorts of crazy things but one of the crazy things I did was or well it's not that crazy but I would you know stop in the Walgreens maybe treat myself to a little se uh nail polish what kind of ASMR sounds do you guys like? I think it can be really triggering when someone um, repeats sounds in their words. Certain letters together, certain, um, you know, very unique sounds can be, or discreet sounds can be triggering. It's interesting, you know, you can get really laser focused with it, like, I really like a but then, you know, then really broad things can be triggering too, like situations. Like, you know, somewhat broader than a watching somebody paint their nails. It's a lot less exact, but it's kind of triggering, you know? And then you can get even broader than that, you know, personal attention in general. Like, that's a trigger. So you get from these micro to macro, I don't know. This is a bit of a ramble, but I love ASMR rambling and I'm, you know, talking more in these videos because I don't know that this mic really picks up the sounds of me actually painting my nails. That's more of the visual aspect. Wow, I love this color. Can you see it? I can't really see the, view <laughs> the viewfinder. I don't have a... I should get one of those monitors that I can see myself and what I'm doing, but this, these videos here are really freewheeling it, like the early days of ASMR, like I was saying. Got an old condenser microphone, no headphone jack to monitor what the sound is like. It's all going to be a surprise to me. Um, and I can't really even see what my video looks like. <laughs> Besides intermittently checking to see if I'm in frame. But I also need to remember that, you know, I'm early in my channel career. And usually, the quality of videos goes up with time. As I learn more things, as I get better technology, and... You gotta start somewhere, and the most important thing is to be putting out content. So now, I need my hands to dry. fingernails to dry, so I'm just gonna kind of do some hand motions here. Bother 
dry, maybe blow on them a bit. I have to say, I have some of my favorite videos are by Queen of Serene. And speaking of old school ASMR, she has this one video that's just her announcing a contest for other people to do hands videos. But she's kind of giving an example of hand movements and that sort of thing. And I still go back to it now. So I think I, you know, some of my ideas for ASMR are appreciation videos of my favorite ASMR artists. Um, since I'm such an avid consumer of ASMR. Mm, can you hear the sound of the blanket? I put this down here because my desk is quite messy. It's a very old dresser. It is my great aunt's dresser, I think. Um, but it needs to be restored. I wanted to have more relaxing surface. 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 A more relaxing surface. And I love this blanket. I've had it for ages and it's just so soft. It's so cozy. Curling up and watching movies, and curling up in bed with it. And especially now that we're in the summertime, you know, I just need a lighter blanket. Anyways. I'm gonna just flutter these. Do you like finger flutters? I don't have the finger strength to do finger flutters. You can kind of see how shiny the nails are from that angle. You know, there used to be kind of a, um, a joke or a little saying when I was a little kid that like, they would be like, how do you look at your nails? How do you look at your how do you look at your nails? How do you look at your nails? And you would either go like this to look at your nails, or you go like that to look at your nails. And they said, if you go like that to look at your nails, that means you're a boy. Which, you know, clearly not much logic there, but beside the point. I really hope that the audio turned out all right for this one, um, and that it picked up my soft speaking. I am quite close to the mic, so I hope it picks up my whispering as well. It might be quite breathy. <laughs> Anyways, I should stop speculating. a few videos, so I'm going to stop this one, and you might see these beautiful nails in some upcoming videos after this, because like I said, I want to film a bunch of videos while I have my roommate's mic, while I'm waiting, waiting, waiting waiting so patiently for the Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti. I hope you have the sweetest dreams. I hope you have an amazing night. And I hope you enjoyed this relaxing chatter with me while I just painted my